All right, welcome everybody to another episode of Python scripting in Blender. In this video, we will have a look at applying vertex colors to a mesh and how this works using loop indices. All right, I already prepared the script here for this small tutorial. So in the script, we import the Blender Python. We're going to make a mesh, an object, and a vertex color layer. And for these, we need a couple of names. Then I made a few shortcuts for meshes, objects, and uh, the collection that we use in the Blender file. Okay, like in the previous videos, here I make a mesh if it doesn't exist already. Here I make an object and link it to the collection. Now I defined a few vertices, edges, and faces. And here you can see what I made is a double a triangle. So we have four vertices and we have two faces. Then using the from Python function I make the geometry from these lists. All right now we have two polygons in our mesh so we can find those in mesh.polygons and we walk over them. Then in the polygons Every polygon has a list of vertices in the polygon. Then here I print the polygon index. Then I print the coordinates of the vertex. Then I look at the index this vertex has in the mesh. Then I look at the vertex it has gotten in the loop index. And then we will find out what this loop and index actually means. Okay, so if we run this, we see we get six outputs, while we only have four vertices. The first three are for the first polygon at index zero. These are vertex 000, 020, 012. So this one, this one, and this one. In the mesh, these have 0, 1, and 2 as indices. So this is 0, 1, and 2 as indices in this list. And then they get a loop index 0, 1, and 2. If we then look at the next polygon, so polygon 1, we have vertices 0, 2, 0, 0, 3, 2, 0, 1, 2. So that's this one, this one, and this one. They have mesh indices 1, 3, and 2. So 1, 3, and 2. And they have loop index 3, 4, and 5. So you see this vertex has the same index, of course, in the vertex list. But it has a different index in the loop indices. That's because it has a part in this phase and it has a part in that phase. So if you would summarize this, here you have the triangles. So the coordinates are in black, 000, 020, 012, 032. Then green is the index the vertex has in the mesh. So 0, 1, 2, and 3. And then in red, you see the index it has in the loop index. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the vertex with index 0 has two loop indices to distinguish its part in the one polygon and its part in the other polygon. So now we want to apply some vertex colors to these vertices. And we're going to do this in two ways. First, we want to have one color per vertex. So we have a list of colors which contains one color for every vertex in the mesh. So we have red, green, green, red. All right, let's have a look at this. Indeed we see red, green, red, green. So the first index is red, the second index is green, the third index is green, and the last index is red. We do this by making a color layer. So we go to mesh.vertexcolors.new and we give a name to this new color layer. 
Then we walk over the two polygons. Then we walk over all the vertices in every polygon. Then we go to color layer, the data in the color layer. And then we indicate the loop index that we want to color. And then we specify the color. And that we do by referring to the list of vertex colors we defined up here. So you walk over six uh, loop indices and you give everyone a different color corresponding to the color you want. Well, you can also color it a little bit different. Let's say you would want to color the two triangles in a different color. So you want this one red and this one green. Well, that's possible too. Then we make a list that gives a color for every loop index in this case. So the first three loop indexes will be red and the last three loop indexes will be green. So remember, the first three, zero, one, and two will be red. The last three, three, four, and five will become green. So then again, we make a color layer. Then we go over the polygons. We go over the vertices of the polygons. Then, for, then we want to specify the color of every loop index, and we specify this by referring to this list over here. All right, so this was a first introduction to vertex colors, and it gives you an idea about loop indices and how they work uh, in different meshes. There's one thing that I skimmed over very quickly. If you want to actually see these colors, you need to make a material. So here I linked a material to this mesh that I made previously. So you can go to shading. Now you can go this this triangle. What I made is I made a vertex color input. So you go to add input vertex color. That creates this box for you. Then you need to refer to the color layer that you made in your script. And you need to connect the color to the base color of uh, the principle to BSDF to be able to see these uh, nice colors that we created. All right, I hope this was helpful for you and I would like to see you again in the next video. Take care.